Aloha! In today's Astro Break, I'll be telling you how you can calculate the circumference of the Earth with nothing but two sticks and the power of math. So people thought that the Earth was flat in the Middle Ages, right? Wrong! That's actually just a myth. We've known that the Earth is round for more than 2,000 years now. Christopher Columbus knew when he set sail that he wasn't gonna fall off the edge. Don't believe the hype. And it makes sense, right? As ships sail away from the beach, the hull actually disappears first as the boat goes around the curve. And those ships always came back. Aristotle even surmised that the Earth was probably spherical because of the shadow that it left on the moon during lunar eclipses. Anyway, today I'm going to tell you about a man named Eratosthenes. He was a chief librarian of the Library of Alexandria, and he calculated the circumference of the Earth more than 2,000 years ago. All it took were three simple steps. Step 1. Eratosthenes had to find the distance between two Egyptian cities, Alexandria and what was then called Syene, but is now called Aswan. What makes these two cities special is that they lie almost directly north and south of each other, and that's important. He found the distance by consulting Bematists. These were people who walked around Egypt measuring the extent of the territory for agricultural and, of course, tax collecting purposes. Step 2. He assumed on the summer solstice that the sun was directly overhead in Aswan at noon. That means that a vertical rod stuck in the ground will cast no shadow. This assumption was a little bit wrong, but it was close enough. You can simulate this by sticking a pencil in a piece of poster board and aiming it at the sun until there is no shadow. When this occurs in Hawaii, this is called Lahaina Noon. Step 3. He then stuck a vertical rod down in Alexandria. If the Earth was flat, there would be no shadow in either Aswan or Alexandria, because the sun would be directly overhead of both. But if the Earth is curved, you will find that when there is a very small shadow, or no shadow at all in Aswan, there is a significant or a long shadow in Alexandria. The only way that this is possible is if the Earth was curved. By measuring the length of the stick, and measuring the length of the shadow left behind on the ground, you can use a little bit of trigonometry, or Pythagoras' theorem, to figure out the angle of the sun's rays as they hit the Earth. Eratosthenes found a value of 7 degrees in Alexandria, and a value, of course, of 0 degrees in Aswan because the sun was directly overhead. So, the distance along the curved surface of the Earth, from Aswan to Alexandria, must be 7 degrees, or 1 50th of an entire 360 degree circle. Another way of saying this is that if the Earth is spherical, the circumference of the Earth is 50 times the distance between Aswan and Alexandria. Since Eratosthenes knew the distance from Aswan to Alexandria, he just multiplied by 50 and figured out the circumference of the Earth. The amazing thing about this is that the value he calculated is only 1.4% less than the current value that we know today to be 39,941 kilometers. You can do this experiment yourself. If you have a friend who lives in a city close to directly north or south of you, phone them up, go outside at the exact same time, put a stick in the ground at both locations, and at the same time, measure the length of the shadow. Then you can each calculate the angle that the sun is hitting the Earth in your location. Because math is fun! Then you can go to Google Earth and figure out the distance between your two cities and calculate the circumference of the Earth. Can you do as well as a librarian did more than 2,000 years ago? Give it a shot. Mahalo Nui. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Spaceman Steve.